for those of you using Switcher Studio, don't mind my mess. Uh, we broadcast upstairs in our youth room for our church, and we use Switcher Studio. And I was having a big problem with my iRig. I've been using the iRig Pre, and I was we had the first one, and we had problem with the game. It's like you had to find the sweet spot, but then it would mess it up, and you would have to find the sweet spot again. And sometimes it happened during broadcast. So we we replaced it with Amazon. Amazon didn't work out. They gave us a second one. I'm gonna send this one back. Same problem after like two three weeks. They're gonna give us another one. I think I'm just gonna ask for my money back. So we use in our main sanctuary. We use the X32. And we also use the, I have my personal rig. Again, excuse the cables. I use the XR18 from Behringer, the XR18 or whatever you want to call it. And I, what I did was I bought the USB, the USB-C cable, the one that has that end on one side. And it goes directly into the iPad on this side with the lightning. Let's plug that back in here. You're going to see it's going to change right here. It's going to say from built in, it's going to go into USB lighting, lightning. And you just got to change up a couple of uh, settings on there. But this, I mean, it works 100 times better, in my opinion, than, than the iRig. So what I did is, first of all, I went here and I went on setup and usually the USB interface it has to be set to 18 channels but you have to set it to two channels because if you don't set it to the two channels uh, it's not going to read it these settings work for switcher and they also work for OBS because what switchers and OBS what they're doing is they're looking for two channel they're either looking for left and right or a mono so if you set it to two channel, it'll read it. And basically what it does is it'll shoot out your left and right via USB into your iPad and you no longer need a pre. The second thing that I did is I went over to my to the routing. And what I did is I routed my USB. Let me pull it up here. Okay. And I went to the USB sends. And I basically got all of them and I send them to left and right, all the way down. Now, if you'll notice, usually when you select something, it'll be red or pink or whatever. It'll usually be analog. But what I notice is analog isn't strong enough to shoot a good signal. So I've moved all of mine to post faders. And usually you can get away with USB 1 and 2. I did all of them all the way down just because I don't really trust it. I don't, I don't want any issues. I don't want to... I don't want to have the same problem that I had with, uh, with the iRig. But this to me sounds a lot better and a lot clearer and a lot crisper. And because it's my main mix, when I'm mixing, all I've got to do is just give it some volume here. And when I plug in my headphones, I'm hearing exactly what's going into here when I hire my mains. And what we do is we use, like, we use electric drums, the guitar. I've got a PV over there that they use as a monitor, and the way we work that is I have that hooked up to bus one. So they've got their own mix over there. Meanwhile, I'm mixing here what's going in there. I just thought I'd share. Pretty good stuff.